so that's what you do Lita, thank you so much for the stars I appreciate that all right so I'm gonna paint this I'm using the Waverly chalk the plaster color all right you get this at Walmart a lot of Walmarts have them but some people say the Walmarts don't have them that their Walmarts don't so if, if you can find it otherwise you, you know chalk paint look at how nice that goes on we will have to give it two coats but it just it just goes on really really nice especially when this is so shiny and can I tell you it was awful getting the labels off like I did a sample one so I had I had two of these this one it came off it was actually really pretty nice and shiny and it came off pretty well i soaked it um thinking that would do it well on this one it did pretty good i did scuff it up but i tell you that other one it was awful awful getting <laughs> the label off i don't know what they do to them i finally ended up using my heat gun on it and I hate doing that on the plastic but I didn't know what else to do all right so we're gonna do a couple thin coats on here hello Debbie hello Sherry how are you doing Sherry I'm still sending hugs and prayers for you and your family so, you've been a just such a through all this I don't think I could have so, Sherry has lost her, her sister this last week so. mm -hmm. crafting community just always feels so bad and you know want to send support to anybody who needs it this is start what is she painting on this is a tied container it's one of those tied containers that we just took the labels off. We are going to make an adorable snowman. We're going to, or not snowman, scarecrow. I think I'm thinking because of the heat. Today was a beautiful day here. I can't complain. It was so hot yesterday, and I know, I mean, the whole country has that so bad. But, um, they, a horse broke it's gorgeous we're supposed to actually have a beautiful week all right again I'm using the Waverly uh, plaster color you could use there's also white and you can use anything you know honestly though I really like the idea of using the chalk paints on something plastic like this because it just gives a real good coverage where just regular acrylic paint won't give you that as quickly. I mean, if you do multiple coats or if you scuff it up maybe a little bit, that might help. But scuffing it, you're going to see that, those scuff marks then. So I hate to do that. All right, I don't have to paint this top part. You're not going to see it. It gives me a nice handle to hold on to. And you don't want any big clumps anywhere. Dry this up and we'll give it a second coat. Cooler by you too. Oh, Paula, 107. Oh, Kim, prayers for your mom. Yeah, sending prayers for your mom. Thank you for passing me on, Debbie. So if you're on late, um, I did say I got the Dollar Tree calendars today for the new year. They're so cute. Um, you passed me on tonight, and then you also comment. I just want to cover so it doesn't get thick. It gets thick enough without leaving it open. So um, you comment in here that you did, and make sure that you did pass it on to your page. And tomorrow I'll do an extra drawing for one of those calendars. I'll also do one of the drawings today for the calendar. And I'll do another happy meal for the um, with, on the calendar. So, oh gosh, Sharon. Well, we're sending it your way. So 
are you planning to share your calendar? Um, are you meaning, okay, I'm not sure, okay, if you didn't catch the beginning, what, I picked up nine of the calendars today, the new calendars, um, and I'm not making anything with them. They're all going out as happy mail in the next couple of weeks. So somebody else, I think Briska just had posted today that hers weren't there yet. And they said these were in since beginning of the week, but hardly anybody was buying them. So I was the second one today that picked up some. And I didn't, I picked up three of each of the ones that I really liked. Um, but like I said, I, I'm going to use them just as happy now. So you don't need to paint the bottom of this either. You're not going to see it. Um, I guess it depends how you display it, but I don't think you have to. All right, you want to make sure that's nice and dry. It gets really, really hot inside of here when you're using the heat gun. Right, let's give it a second coat, and that's all we're going to need on it. Yeah, make sure you're commenting in here that you did, and... If you want to use a foam brush, you can certainly do that, but look at how good the coverage is on the second coat. So, um, I would recommend that you do a lot of it, like after you get the second coat on. I'll show you. You want to make sure you're sort of in the same direction when you're doing the front. And the back. This is going to be the back, the one with these handles that you hold on to. That's going to be the back of it. The front will be the whole, it doesn't have these little handles on. If you want to use a foam brush, you certainly can do that too. Okay, and then I just like to brush it all in the same direction. Just gives a nice coat. Um, and eat more even coat it looks like. Well, Debbie, I give you credit for using what you have. You know, do you remember when, well, I know we all remember because um, the timeline these days is pre-COVID and post-COVID, right? It's before or after COVID. So do you remember when COVID hit and none of us, I mean, you couldn't go in stores, everything was shut down and we had to use what we had. We had to be creative. Um, I think I like going in now just to get, like now the fall is coming out. Um, so I think I like going in just to get the most current seasonal items. Okay, see this front doesn't have those handles that come in on the side. Um, this is the this is going to be the actual front. This is where we're going to paint the face on our scarecrow. Well, I hope you like it, Susan, when it's all done. I think it's going to be really, really cute. As long as I don't flub up my face painting, I hope I don't. And you know what? Worst comes to worst, if you flub it up, you just paint over it again and start from scratch. So the painting is the hardest part, but the decorating is actually we're we're gonna make a hat for on him. We're gonna um uh with burlap and others so that we can stuff it. We're going to um, make a cute ribbon for them. We're going to be doing some cute hair, raffia hair. So we have all these in mind. I'm just looking to make sure I have everything I need here. Well, thank you, Susan. I appreciate it. Oh, there's some things that I haven't liked, though. After I'm done and people are saying, oh, it's so cute, I'm like, oh, I don't like it. What do they see in it? They're being nice to me. <laughs> That's what I think sometimes. 
All right, again, this is the front, so I want it to be nice and even. I'm just going across it. Okay, see how pretty that is? All right, I am done. Mess that up a little, but we're done with the plaster paint. Thank you, Judy, for passing me on. Well, thank you, Carol. I appreciate it. You've been following me a long time. I'm trying to think of when I started. So it's 2022 now. Uh, 2020. That's probably, I think I started in February of 2019 when I started my coffee servings page. Um, I only crafted that was just for a little bit of fun, not that often. Um, so, I used to craft a lot more when I was younger, you know, but then you just, I think it's getting hot. You have to be careful so it's not melting. It is bending that a little bit. I'm going to hold it back here. You see how it's bending in? Just need to pop that out when it's dry. Absolutely, have her say them, Kathy. And you know what? Because so we had one on our washer. I was thinking it was a bigger one, but it was starting to get down in the amount of the pods. So I um, bought another one, and I wanted the size, okay? Because I didn't want a huge one. I bought the size, and I refilled that one up. So I had this one left because there wasn't much in that other one. And um, I just want to see if I can pop that out. The other one didn't didn't work like that, so I mean it'll still be cute. Well, we can still do that, but it didn't work like that. So I think there's a different container. Um, but anyhow, so I bought that one, and then I thought, okay, but I gotta practice this first because especially the face in that, I really thought I needed to. Practice. So, um, I ended up buying another one. Well, it didn't all fit in the container we had. I ended up putting a bunch in a plastic bag. What you don't do for crafts, right? Thank you all for passing it on. The, um, we will do a drawing. I'll do that tomorrow um, for those who pass it on. Laura, Lauren, I remember when you had cancer and you came out here and told us. And yeah, I remember. And you're a survivor. I'm so proud of you. So that just gave, that just gave me goosebumps. I remember that. I do remember that. I have several that have reached out to me in private messages that have been going through a lot. And I hope that I could have blessed them. And, then, and I think I did bless them. That's why they're reaching out to me. Um, there's a lot that I can tell you. But several of them are just near and dear to me. And I try and keep in touch with some of them too. So I do remember that, Lauren. Oh, thank you for passing it on. Yeah, so if you're passing it on, comment in here. Drawing tomorrow, I will look for all those that say they did. It's going to be for these new calendars from the Dollar Tree. They are awesome. Somebody's going to get one of them. We're going to do a drawing at the end of this for one of them, just for the comments. Okay, so you got to comment in two. And then I'm going to do a regular Happy Meal probably in the middle somewhere. Okay. All right, so I think it's done. Now that it's drying, I think some of this is popping out. It actually was melting a little bit. <laughs> the dumps, unless I dropped it. All right. Let's go ahead and get started.
and we're going to start painting and decorating. So the first color, now I've got multiple colors here, and I'll tell you as I go with the colors. Um, I want to get sort of the shape of the face here, and um, it's, but I just want a hint of color. I don't want a bright color or anything like that, so I'm going to just use this dry paper towel and put a little bit of color on it. So the two colors I'm using for that are the um, Deco Art Cocoa. I think all of mine right here are Deco Art. Deco Art Cocoa and the Avocado. The reason for my colors I'm using, other than orange, well, yeah, orange is in here too. Let me show you the fabric that we're using. This is just a touch of it. You can't even see that. Let me just show you here. And this is where I'm pulling my colors, some of my colors from. Isn't that gorgeous? And then I've got green burlap here too. The same green that's in here. That's, um, that's why I'm using some of these colors. So that's why I came up with this avocado and the cocoa. Oh, nothing in yours yet, Kat? Oh. I said other people said it's not in theirs yet so you just gotta keep an eye on all right so all I'm doing I'm taking a chipping brush I don't want a lot I'm really wiping a lot of it off and I'm probably gonna end up <laughs> don't wipe all of it off but I may end up even just taking um, a wet brush going over the top now you can just see there's a little hint of it I don't know if the lighting, can you see that? Just brushing out of here. You can, I think you can see that, right? Let me get just a little extra. Now you're going to see it. I'll probably even just bring a little in throughout here. Not, not a lot though, not a lot. I don't want that the prominent part. I want the face to stand out. Right. And then I'm gonna do it on this side too. Just adding a little bit of an age to look on him. And now I'm gonna go right into using the avocado green. Isn't that fabric? It's beautiful. It's like a corduroy. It's a real light corduroy too. Oh, I love it. it was, I think that is the prettiest fabric I've seen for a long time. All right, so next I'm gonna do that avocado. I'm just using that same chippy brush. Get a lot of it off. Again, I don't want a, a lot. Yeah, this one you can see a little more as I'm doing it. And you can see the, all of the, like almost where the paint is not the most perfect or like in the little grooves down there. <laughs> Got a happy little unshaped face here. Right. And let's do this side too. And let's just see, just a little bit. I'm going to add a little bit in. It's such a dry brush that I'm just adding that little bit of color okay that's all the color I'm adding on the sides um, just a little just don't want big it up a little bit. Can you see the colors? I can't tell if you can see it. Can you see that? Um, all right, I think that's all the dry brushing we have to do. Next we're going to do a nose. Uh, two colors I'm using for the nose is Warm Sunset and Georgia Clay. They're both deco art. don't need much this is the nose now you can make the nose any shape you want you can see it okay good
I'm just I just put both of them on here because we're going to do a little highlighting also. I'm just grabbing just I'm grabbing an angle brush. It doesn't have to be. It's just a smaller brush, but I'm just going to try and eyeball sort of the middle of the scarecrow, and I'm going to do a triangle, but like a misshaped triangle, and we'll see. Now I do just see a face like this similar on Pinterest. So, I mean, you don't have to, if you're not creative, you don't know that if you can do something like this. Look, there, if you just search scarecrow faces on Pinterest, you'll see tons. Pick out one you think is easy. I think I actually want it a little longer yet. So, and again, I'm just coloring it in there. I'm just make it a little longer. Turn it in whatever directions you need to to get the job done. I am constantly turning my projects where some people can just do it all in one direction. Not me, I can't. Okay, that's sort of a cute nose. What do you think? You're welcome, Bela. Alright, now I'm going to take a, just a little... Let's see, maybe I can still do it on here. Let's just dry that a little bit. And I'm going to highlight on, on it right away. use this brush also actually I use a little bit bigger brush for highlighting I'm using that dark Georgia clay I'm going to wet the brush I'm just going to dab it off a little bit and I just dip the tip and I'm just going to wipe it on here just to spread that in a little bit and then I'm just gonna go around on this inside. Now if it's not spreading, maybe because your brush isn't wet enough, or if it's like all puddled up on there, that means your brush was probably too wet. It has been so long since I painted in here, right? I haven't really painted anything like this for a long time. I just added that little bit of highlighting on there. We're also going to do a little bit of highlighting on the outside of the nose, but with a different color, just because I want to be able to see. Um, let's see, I'm trying to think of what color I would use. We're gonna use the milk chocolate. We're going to do a little highlighting around the nose just to make it stand out a little bit. Honey brown is absolutely one of my favorite colors, Teresa, also. Absolutely it is. And I can't believe I don't even have it out here. Yeah, I love that color also. Okay, so I just, using a little bit of that cocoa brown, I'm going to pick up a little. Now you're going to see that I'm going to do it on... Um, the outside of the nose now. It's just gonna make it stand out. So that's making it pop out. Just makes it look like it's standing out a little bit. I don't know if you can. Can you see the highlighting on the outside? Yeah, I think you can see that. Let's try it out. Thanks, Teresa. Thanks for those hearts. I appreciate it. 
I just turn it off. And then we're gonna give it some cheeks first before we do any other painting. So I gotta have this nice and dry. For cheeks, I love using blush. I love using the blush. And I'm gonna use a little spouncer. So I've got two colors. I'm gonna start with a pink, um, just any kind of blush. So I've got a pink. And then I have like a bron I have a bronzer. We're gonna use that also. <clears throat> I've had burlap all around me today, so like I feel it. Oh, thank you, Patricia. I appreciate it. All right. So I'm going to just put that in there. and give them some nice cheeks. Now you have to sort of press it in. You'll see that powder building up in there. Keep those cheeks on. All right, and I'm just gonna add a little bit of this bronzer color. Thank you, Lauren. I appreciate it. Hello, Ellen. Just to give it a little bit of different hue. I like that extra. And then I'm going to blend it a little more with another brush. Just to try and blend it out. I love those dark cheeks. All right. So I use blush for the cheeks. And let's just use I'm just using a little stencil brush just to try and blend those edges in. There you go. Just cute. finish we're going to do do the nose yet so I'm going to go back and use um, that cocoa brown again and I'm just using a real fine brush now you could do this part with a marker Debbie practice you some of this just practice and we'll practice on cardboard or canvas it's fun just practicing all right, so I'm just loading up a real fine brush, and I'm just gonna make lines for the noses. You know, I know some of this is really, you know, hard for, but you know, honestly, I had to practice too. It, it's, it's not just completely natural for me, and. If I see something, I can do similar, but All right, so just added the stitch marks on the nose. No, I should keep this. All right, now we're going to do a stitch lines down the middle and then a smile. And hopefully we get an even smile with it. I'm going to use that same cocoa brown and I'm going to start with this top part and just do lines. Again, if you want to use a marker, you certainly can do that. Okay, I'm not gonna see any farther up than that. See if we can come down straight here. We're doing this line all the way down and then we're going to go up and pick up the mouth. That's where the tricky part is going to be. To get it, and you know, it doesn't have to be even. So honestly, I probably, I should make it uneven just to be, be safe, right? 
I want a big smiley face. And then I'll do a line on that side. Now we're going to try and recreate that. Okay. Try and recreate it. So. And if it's a lopsided smile, it's all right. Okay. These are always hard. Hello, Prisca. How are you? I was just, I just mentioned before that you had said you didn't see any Dollar Tree calendars. I got some today. I went on a live to show three of them that I got. I, well, I got like several of each one um, for Happy Nails. They're so cute. So welcome, LaBrisca. Um, I should say anybody wants to drop their pages, go ahead. Um, LaBrisca is with Eclectic eclectic I'm, I'm gonna say it wrong because I'm thinking treasures but I don't think that's right is it yeah I think it is right I, I think it is so all right so got that. now we're gonna go ahead and do the eyes now I'm gonna start the eyes with um, I'm gonna start the eyes with white and we're gonna have to build up on that white because it'll take several layers to see it. Um, I think if I started with black and do the white on top, it, it probably would pop out a little more, but then it's harder to cover the black. So we're gonna start with the white. Now I'm just using the Snow White Deco Art. Are you an art? Oh, oh, absolutely not, Patricia. I am not an artist. I'm not an artist. Not at all. I just love doing this. I just love, I love, I love crafting. I, I love painting. And so I've seen faces similar to this, so I thought this was a cute one. If you go on Pinterest, there are tons and tons and tons if you just look for scarecrow faces. Find one that will be easy for you. All right. Now I'm going to do like almost like a triangle again. But I, I just want to make sure what I'm doing here. Because I did do one last night. Now it's going to be hard to see at first. So I'm doing a triangle and then I'm going to come around. And I'll show you what I see. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this layer yet. That's it. I'm going to add multiple layers of white to make it stand up brighter. Can you see that white on there? Can you see the shape of that's gonna be? And we're gonna do that on this side too. And I'm using the, um, the middle as a guide. And then I'm just drawing out like an arch. So literally it starts as a rectangle and th then I'm just drawing out the one side. So you do the two lines for like a rectangle and then you connect the two, but you're doing it like arched out. That's all I'm doing. You said you're gonna see it more as I get a couple layers of this on here. I think I'm going a little bigger yet, too. I'm going to bring it out just a little farther. So we're going to add like a big black um, eyeball. I know, Susan. It would be fantastic if I had an overhead. Um, I'm not that great with technology. <laughs> I am working at figuring things out because um, 
I am. I'm, I'm working and figuring things out for being able to do some of this because I'd like to do some classes too online, maybe Zoom classes, and I know I need that. So, okay. I'm just dry, and then we're going to add another layer of white. This color is the Waverly Plaster. Now I'm using Deco Art the Snow White for the eyes. Hi, Mary. Am I using buttons for the eyeballs? No, that would be pretty cute, right? No, I'm going to paint the eyeballs. I am, of course, using a button in my project. I always finish with a button, right? I think you can see that the white is standing out a little bit more and once I add the black to it and I'm also going to highlight around it so that's going to make it pop out. Lamp Black, not Waverly, and Deco Art Lamp Black. Buttons are absolutely my signature, Robin. Thank you, Debbie. I'm just trying to put in all different. We don't need much black. Let's try this up so we don't end up a gray. This would be cute, right? We gotta add some freckles, some little crease lines yet. Oh, thanks, Teresa. Okay. So I'm just going to take the black now, and we're going to do bigger eyeballs. I'm following inside of that white, and then rounding this outside. And rounding this bottom part. Just sort of around. And let, we'll see if they match. Oh, absolutely. It's nice, Ginny, that you can hold this from the inside. It makes such a difference. Okay. Now let's see what we can do on this one, if we can do the same. good and if it's not perfect it's okay you don't need perfect oh, that actually turned out really pretty good though right pretty cute I just grabbed my glue gun for, for the glue gun hello Shelly and to like the Dollar Tree. The other things I got at Dollar Tree today, they have these white canvas tote bags, sort of. I mean, they're going to be so cute to stamp and stencil on. They're going to be just cute. And then add ribbon trim or something. I can't wait to do that, too. Let's just add, I'm going to do the creases, uh, let's do the highlighting first. So I'm going to go back and grab that, I'm going to grab a little highlighting brush though. And I'm going to go back in that brown again. And 
now I'm going to do around the outside of that white. It just makes it stand out now. Trying to find empty spots in my palette here to try and blend that. Out. Well, thank you, Patricia, for passing me on. How are you? Well, I haven't got to watch you guys. Remember how I always watch you guys? When I'm driving, it's always when I'm leaving work, you were always live. Are you still? I, I miss seeing at that time or hearing at that time. I can never comment really because I was driving. Um, make sure that's um, two sisters and a paintbrush. Make sure you drop your link to anybody else. Drop your links, please. You're more of an expert at this, Patricia, than I am. You should be doing this. Hey, Michelle. Can we practice? Just practice. Patricia, are you still on at that time? I don't know why I'm not getting the notifications if you are. Thank you, Tammy. So, um, let me just want to spread this out a little more. That line is pretty prominent there. I just add that little extra water, just trying to spread that line out a little bit, or that shading. It was pretty dry though. Okay, you wish you had a container? I have, like I said, if you didn't come on earlier, I had one here. But I thought it was small, I thought it was larger. So when I was at the store, I thought I knew I wanted to do this. So I grabbed um, uh, uh, this size and then, and I filled the other one up because I'm like, well, you can't have two sitting here. So I filled it, it all fit in there. All right, so I'm just doing thin, like a wrinkle line down here. Um, so I filled it. But then I realized I forgot, you know, I wanted to try this first and figure out what I was doing before I did it with you. So I had to go back and get another one. And then so now I've got a plastic bag with something yet out there too. And then we'll give them a little eyelashes. You may not see these when we're done. Um, I just want to see how I do them on here. You may not see them just because it's cute hair is going to cover also. There's Patricia's link there. A little more cuteness just we need some I am going to take a little bit just a little bit of this white I really dab most of it off and just put a little bit of light in there just giving a little right now I need a thin 
toothbrush. Okay, now we're going to give some, um, first, oh, let's do the eyeball up here first. And then we're going to give them some fractals. How's he looking? Cute, cute, cute. I should have shaded him too. I shade just a little bit of, I'm going to put a little bit of gray on the bottom of this eye. Oh, jack o' lanterns these would be cute for. Okay, so this color was slate gray, in case you're keeping track. And I'm gonna just highlight a little bit at the bottom of this eyeball. want a real fine tip brush. The, what I mean by fine is this back end. We're going to give it some freckles. I'm going to get the, get a fresh amount of, this is the milk chocolate again. We're going to give it a little bit fresh. Oh, I'm going to do a white on these cheeks up here too. Lisa, there we go. Isn't he cute? He's cute. We didn't decorate him up. No, we're gonna do a hat. I warned you at the beginning. So if you weren't down at the beginning, this is a longer one. I, I warned you right from the beginning. It is a longer one. All right, so I'm just doing some freckles. all dry up. We're going to need a name for him too. We're going to let him all dry up. Let's put a couple on the nose too. Just a few on the nose. Isn't he cute? He turned out cute. Cute, cute. He has character now. Yes. Yeah. So that's a start. So isn't he adorable? Now we're gonna, I'm gonna put this stuff aside and we're gonna make his hat. We're gonna make a hat. We're gonna do hair on here so hopefully he'll be dry. I should just dry up a little. Um, we're gonna put some hair on, so raffia hair. Uh, we're gonna make a bowl and we're gonna have a button. Just to dry these dots a little bit. Hopefully they'll dry the rest of the way. All right, let's just set him up out of the way. I'm gonna get the paint out of my way here. We're done with all of that. We're done with these brushes. Done with the water. And the makeup. And this paper. You're gonna buy some pods now, Susan. Right. Okay. I'm gonna start making a hat. Okay. So for the hat, I already cut off a strip from here. Again, this is like my inspiration fabric. I love, love, love it. Um, it's like a light um, corduroy that I got at Hobby Lobby. Okay, so I've already got a strip cut. That's for part of the hat. Um, I'm just going to set that down there. Now, this you are not going to see, this part of it. And we don't need the cap. So 
So I've got pins here. If you don't have pins, you can use double stick tape to do it too. So for the hat, I just drew, so I drew this first. So my first one, this is the bottom. For my first one, I just drew, this was like an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. I went from the top and just went down in some. But that hat is a little skinny for me. So I wanted to make it a little bigger. So I just added another piece of paper to make it bigger. So um, now what I have on here, I have to do this on a fold because we need two sides of it. And that's how we do it in sewing. So if, you, if you're not a sewer, you already have a fold in a lot of your fabrics. You just want the two sides. Now we're going to do, and we've got to make sure we have the right fold at the right side because this is going to be the top. I want that to be up there. Now I have it sort of wiggly up here, but it's not going to be because I'm cutting it on a fold. If you want, you don't have to do it on a fold. Um, and then you could do that squiggles. But so I'm gonna do this, and then this is sort of, what should I say, like a lining to the hat. The hat itself is going to be made with green burlap, but we need something inside that green burlap to hold that fill in without being able to see the fill. I don't like seeing the white filling because we gotta stuff the hat. So we're going to use this as a lining in it. Yeah, Debbie, I love, love this. So again, that, um, that fabric that I was showing is from Hobby Lobby. Now I have, <laughs> have to cut both both layers of this which I thought it was now the bottom is skinnier because it's got to fit inside of that hat inside the opening this is not a sharp scissor at all Hi, Yvonne, how are you doing? Yvonne from Southern Designs and Finds. Yvonne, drop your link too. Oh, uh, you guys had like major storms too, didn't you? We had a lot go through, but like right by us, we didn't have it, any outages or anything. Um, but there's places not far from here that were out of power again okay so the next um piece we're going to cut this is the green burlap you get this on rolls it's at um now i'm going to have a lot that's not really folded here i could do Just to conserve some, I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna fold it. This was an end I cut from the top. So I'm gonna fold this and use, because I need more from the fold also. Now this one, I have this size here, you know, but I need to make it just a little bit bigger because I, the top of it can be the same, but the sides, need to be a little bit bigger because that's where we're cutting and I don't want all those strings coming out from the hat when we're um, we're actually gluing this together. So um, I don't want those strings. So we're gonna, I'm laying this on, but we're gonna make it a little bit bigger than what it is. Um, is anybody, is people having problems hearing me? I am sorry. I don't have my microphone on tonight. I'm sorry. I could go get it. I don't even know if it's, oh, I'm sorry. La, should I go get my microphone, see if it's better? I can do that. Should I?
can most of you hear? Hello, Becky. So again, this I'm gonna do, can most, most of you can hear me? Okay, all right, then I'm gonna let it, let it for now, because I'm not positive that my microphone is charged even, so I, I did forget it. So I'm gonna cut this probably about, I'd say, a half an inch maybe outside of, the paper and again that's because when I glue this together I want the ends so that they don't shred I want the ends to stick outside you'll see you'll see okay so it's just about a half an inch or so It's not hard either. It's just it, we just got to get it cut. Okay, so this is that's for the top part of the hat, and now we have to do. Now we're gonna bring up this fold. Now we're going to do the brim of the hat. So that's gonna be a circle. I just have I just have like a quarter. So to get that, and you can honestly just cut a circle. I had started with the oblong, but it didn't work. So instead, I did it, so now I have it, oh, I'm itching. I have it, it's folded in half, this is the crease, and then I'm folding it again, and when I put this on, I, I've got my paper marked which ones I want to fold, so I'm gonna do a fold there. And so all I'm doing is I'm making a circle. So cut a circle whatever way you want. You can don't need to do it this way. Again, I'm using pins. If you don't have pins, you can maybe get away with double stick tape. That might be a little hard on this burlap. Um, if you're hopping, oh Linda, I'm sorry. Um, if you're hopping on late, I am doing, well, you know what? I'm going to do a happy meal drawing right now. Let's do one. This is not for a calendar though, okay? Uh, Jeannie Goodwin, private message me your mailing address and I'll get you some happy mail, okay? And then I'm gonna do one drawing like this also at the end that will be for the a calendar. And then if you're passing me on and you tell me in here, I'm gonna scroll through all those tomorrow. Um, it's gonna be too late tonight when to do it, but I'll scroll through all of them tomorrow and somebody's gonna get one of the Dollar Tree calendars. All right, so we're gonna be giving one of them away tonight and one of them away from if you're passing me on tonight. Right. Okay, so you'll see when I open this up, it's going to be a circle if I did it right. Ta-da! I got a circle. Okay, so... Um, so for this one too, I want to rough up this circle. Let me pull out some of, some of the strings. You can't uh, you can't pull all the strings like over here. You can't pull them all because that's going the opposite way. But you can rough it up. Oh, and you never got Happy Meal. Just keep on commenting. You know, hopefully someday we're going to get you picked, too. All right. And just rough up some of this.
All right, so just rocked up. We were able to pull some strings. And sometimes I use those strings too in bows, but they were pretty short ones, so that's why I didn't do that. All right, so we're gonna set that one aside and we're gonna get to work on this one. This is the top of the hat, the top hat part. Thanks, Mary, I appreciate it. Yes, Hobby Lobby, the fall fabric um, was 40% off this week. So this was fall fabric. And otherwise, last week, I think all their fabric was 40% like off or 30% off, but um, this is the fall fabric. All right, so this again was going to be a liner, and I'm trying to picture what I did. Okay, now I need, I just got one of these cutting mats in here because I don't want the glue. The glue I've used before, it's fabric tack. It sets up fast. It's awesome. Um, it's permanent after 24 hours, but it really sets up well. Oh, you're asking where Cash is? Yeah, he's in sleeping on the floor in our bedroom. Mr. Cap, crafty servant, sleeping. Um, now I'm just picturing, because we're going to be flipping it. It's going to end up looking like this. All right, I just got a picture. I got to picture this. Um, We are putting it together and then we're going to flip it inside out. So we need it like this. I have to talk to myself. All right, because I got to flip it inside out and all these are going to be rough edges. So yeah, it's going to be like this. So I'm going to glue down. And you know, honestly, whether you see this orange part or this, you're not gonna see it that much through here. I just don't wanna see that white fiber fill. So we're gonna lay this in here first. Okay, the liquid, it's called Fabri-Tac. You can get this at Walmart. Um, I'm sure you can get this at Hobby Lobby or any craft store. I love this, I love this. You can probably get it on Amazon, I'm sure you, you can get anything on there. Um, but it works awesome and mine is like half full. I have another bottle here too because I use it actually a lot. You can use your glue sticks too. The only thing is, is this you won't see where the glue sticks, um, and folding this inside out, you won't really see it. For some things, your glue sticks, you're going to see. Let me just lift this up and... What I'm doing is I'm just gonna do it right on top of here. Yeah, Jenny, I love, I love this. So we're just gonna do a line of that inside of here. And you don't have to do the top because that's already a fold. Then I'm gonna do it on this side. And honestly, for fabric glue from a bottle, it sets up so fast. It's crazy how fast it sets up. All right, I'm gonna lay this back down now. And that's why I've got this mat here. And then I can press that in really well where that is. Still just picturing that I'm doing this right. Okay, I'm going to do the same on this side now. Just a nice bead along there. It's sort of thick too. Like the chimes. It's 
it's thickening up as I'm doing this, squeezing from the top. this that down now. Yeah, this is my favorite fabric glue. Okay, other than the shirt binder, like I said, if you have a glue gun and that's really, you know, that's really quick. But, you know, for certain things, this really works good. All right, now I'm going to flip it over. So we're going to glue it like this, and then when we flip it outside, it, you're going to see. You're going to see. Okay, so where I want to glue it, though, I want to make sure I'm sort of on top of that. Um, I want to make sure I'm a little bit on top of that lining. Yes, it's my it's my favorite fabric glue. All right, let's just, so I'm going in far enough that I think I'm going to be on that lining. This side, and we're going to do, oh, let's keep, I'm going to do it all the way down to the bottom. And let's do this side. <laughs> Can you see that line of glue coming? I think I'm pretty good. And let's lay that down. push that together good. Thanks, Deborah. I try and explain. I mean, it doesn't help if I just do it and don't say what I'm doing. So just really press that glue in good. You know, one thing I was going to do that I didn't, but we'll do it the other way. I was going to actually put a seam of this on the other side right away, and then it would fit inside of this seam, um, but I'll just glue it. It'll work. Okay, now it's probably already pretty set up. Just think if there should be another step that we do. You know what? Let's, because I really want this to dry pretty well. I mean, it, it probably is almost at a point where I could flip it. I just, I want to just let it. So um, we're going to go ahead and do just a little bit of a hair for the scarecrow. So I'm using raffia. I've got most of it already done. <laughs> by my babe. I've got most of it already done. And what we're doing is you want for across the front, you want probably about four of these little short ones. So I'll do one more of them. And then for around the body, you bought the rest of the head, you want a little bit longer. So I've just got my raffia here. I'm trying to figure out some of it's long and some of it's short in here. So if, if it's real short, like you know use it for this but all i'm doing is pulling out it doesn't matter what size they are probably about this much for one of the long ones all i do is hold it down and i'm just folding it and I have them all pretty similar in length. Fold it back up, 
fold it down, fold it back up. And you get one of those. And we're going to trim that when it's done. I'm just going to take one of these two and tie it off. Well, you better make one, Mary. I said, I'm so sorry that this is taking long. Somebody else threw stars out there. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. All right, so let's just cut that one off. Okay, so that's, and we'll trim, like I said, we'll trim this up a little bit as we go. So that's how you make them. That one actually is a little smaller than the other ones, but it'll still work. So we'll just do one of them. I can always make extra after. So let's just do a little short one. Yeah, like a tassel. The only thing is I'm not going to cut all the loops. I think it looks sort of cute with, with with the loops. All right, so now to make a little one, I'm gonna do the same thing, only I'm just gonna wrap it around my hand. It's actually a pretty good one. And we got that. Oh, I'm glad you don't mind it being so long. I'm so sorry that it, but I warned you that this is a longer one. So, um, all right, so these are for, this will be for the, the face. All right, I think I'm good now that I can turn this fabric. Just pull that in. You don't think this live is long? I'm not done yet. <laughs> I'm not done yet. All right, I'm still trying to be sort of careful just so I don't pull it apart. I'm just bringing this inside out. Yeah, a little of the bottom part is coming open, but that's all right. I mean, it really sealed well. And like I said, I have a little on the bottom here that didn't. That's okay. Let's end up. There we go. Alright, so this part we're going to stuff just with some fiber fill. Um, actually, before, yeah, we'll stop it first and then we'll put the others on top. Oh, chores are done. Awesome. You want to come do mine? Hi, Kim. Well, I'm glad you don't mind it running long then. <laughs> Just stuffing this part of the hat. And then, then we're going to add in that cute other trim. Thank you, Rhonda. That's really sweet. Thank you. Hi, Lisa. It's almost time where you live. It's almost time where I live, too. It is. All right. I don't think you need it stuffed a lot. Cute top hat. Well, you have an advantage that's not dark by you. All right, so this is going to be the bottom. I don't think we have to, let's see, I'm trying to think. I think we're going to end up being able to just glue that in. Isn't that cute, cute, cute? 
we're going to take this. Now I did, if you wanted to, you could have put this inside that seam. You certainly could have. But I'm going to just, so this is probably maybe four inches wide. I'm just going to put that in here. And let me just show you how we're going to, well, we're going to put hair on first. But this is going to go in here. This is going to go in here. All right. Um, so I'm thinking we'll have it about that height. I'm just going to glue it. Actually, I'll just use hot glue on this part, I think. Because you're not going to see it. Yeah, I can't imagine it never getting dark. But then during the winter, you have a dark year round, right? Or day, you know, all day, don't you? Or is that not really true? I'm just gonna fold this under to make it a uh, sort of an even seam. So that you don't really see it see and I didn't tuck it inside of there so I'm just holding that together a little what I'm also you know what I'm gonna do I want this a little thinner I'm changing my mind oh I can't <laughs> It's glued pretty good, I told you. Well, that's the other glue, okay. I was gonna make it a little thinner, but we're gonna make do with this thicker. I was gonna actually fold it and actually make the seams like I was doing in the back. certainly would have worked good if we would have just put it in the seams in the first place. It would have worked really, really good. But that'll be cute. Okay, now we got extra. I just think that would be really hard, Kathy, in Alaska, um, like during the winter having dark all the time because, I mean, people need sunshine. I mean, just for, just for mood, I think they need sunshine. Although, Kathy is always so awesome and sweet and I mean, she seems so happy from what I see. Kathy is an, um, my moderator on Crafty Servings Crafting Club, and she helps me out so much, you know, looking at posts and accepting and commenting. So, okay, that's, that's that trim. And then this is gonna go inside. Let's get the hair on, and then we'll get the hat on, and we'll make a bow, and we'll be done. Okay. So I showed you how we make the hair. I've got a bunch already made here. These are all for around it. I'm looking for my face ones. Okay, so we're gonna start with the face and you don't want to cover up the face so you might have to adjust that up a little bit. Um, and I've got four of these, make sure. I've got four of them, so we're gonna um, just do on each side here. I'm just gonna hot glue. And I'll have to hold in between. That's what, that's gonna be a little bit. No, I'm not cutting out the bottoms of the hair. I like it like this. I am gonna trim a little bit that hangs down like this. 
I'm going to do that, but I'm not going to cut the bottoms of the hair. Thank you, Kate Winkler. Hello, I miss you too. Oh, uh, you know I miss you. I'm glad I saw your comment. Oh, you make me smile. I used to work with Kate. Alright, let's put this one on this side. Again, I don't want to cover the face, so I might have to raise it a little bit. Then I have different blue. So some of this might be cut up on the top. Yeah, I do like the hair like this. Thanks, Christina. So these I have up higher, but the sides, I don't think I'll have to have that high. I just need it that high because I don't want to cover the eyes because the eyes are important. Are you guys naming them yet? Yes, Susan, the grandkids picked out their costumes. I actually bought some um, some of the costumes today, just or some of the patterns today for some things I can use to make. I you have to use you can use certain patterns, but then you have to maybe change the, up the fabric to make it look like something different. Um, so they let's see, one of them is going to be Alvin, one is going to be Simon, one is going to be a chipette. And the other one is going to be the good angel on his shoulder. And she has a friend who's going to be a bad angel. <laughs> so, um, but I think we'll, I want to talk to her. I think we're going to do her up really cute with, you know, I think she would like even to have it as like a little fancy, you know, red dress that sort of sticks out. So a little bit shorter dress and the leggings and of course the cape and, um, so we gotta talk to her to see how else she wants it. So yeah, and they got them picked out. Aw, oh, thank you, Yvonne. All right, so there's our front of the hair. Again, if there's anything scraggling down here, we're just gonna trim that. But I love, I love that look of not cutting them open. Now these we're going to just put down um, we don't need them as far up. I just, I know I've got glue on in here and it's going to drive me crazy. Now, it's your choice if you want to go all the way around. I hope I can do a couple of these at a time. <laughs> Make sure skin don't peel off with the glue, right? That was ridiculous. That was really, really hot. I am itching. I'm trying to control. I was, you haven't noticed it, right? Just because I do it all the time. Really, really hot. Do you feel bad? <laughs> oh, I need to pay attention to what I'm doing. That's the problem. I need to pay attention. That's what I gotta do. Oh, no. 
I, I don't like those rubber fingers, Pam. I've tried them. Every one that I've tried, they've all been too big for my fingers. They hurt my fingers, actually. Well, I have my water that I've been drinking. I guess I could have stuck it in there. Not good. Yeah, I don't have finger protectors. All right, I got that on there. I'm gonna start on this side now, so you can stare at the little dude. Pick a name. Pick a name. Oh. This way. It didn't help that this has been sitting heating up for a long time too. Hard rubber ones, Robin? I don't know that I've seen them. I don't know. The ones I've gotten, like our Dollar Tree, I think I've gotten them from Hobby Lobby. They all are just small. I put them on my fingers, they hurt. I hate when I do that. Yes, Gloria, I hate when I do that. I said I just really feel like. I'm afraid to peel off this glue because I don't know what it's going to look like. Mm. I'll have a band-aid on. I'm going to come live tomorrow again. Um, I'll have a band-aid on. Probably. Okay, I don't think I have enough of these to go all the way around, but that's okay. You'll get the gist of it. Bucky Stitch. Those are cute names. Yeah, I actually thought I'd have enough to go all the way around, but I don't. Mustard. Mustard and toothpaste? Those are a lot of cute names. Okay, Teresa. <laughs> I'll stop picking. I do have aloe vera, but again, I'm crafting. I can't stop. I, I can't go do something. All right. Cute. Cute, cute. Oh, he looks cute just like that. Now I gotta do the hat. Okay, I just wanna, now I'm gonna go ahead and just trim some of these long pieces. I think that's good. Remember our circle that we cut? Stick that inside of here. And this dude, now this will have to be glued in. So, isn't he cute? I'm gonna put some glue in here already, let's see. And the glue, honestly, when I put the glue in here, it's probably gonna squirt it through to get it on the plastic underneath in here. So squish that in there, making sure I'm gonna use this tool and not stick my finger in there. Let me just see what I'm doing here. Okay, we're gonna let that sort of sit up. Isn't he looking cute? All right, let's do a bow. So we are gonna put, I'm gonna let that dry a little. We are going oh, here. I'm going to put a little patch. This is from this fabric 
I just cut out a little patch out of it. We'll stick that up there. Like I said, I might have to add a little more glue here. if you see this fabric and I doubled it so that it would I glued it together oh this one okay you can't see on this one that was a different piece here this one you'll be able to see so in here there was this cute little bee kind of I, I glued it together and then I cut them out we're gonna put him on the brim of the hat down here Aw, oh, Lauren, thank you so much. So I was thinking a little ahead to get some of this done. Just, isn't that little cute on there? All right, so he's looking cute. I also have this flower. This is Hobby Lobby. We're gonna put this up over here. Let's go ahead and put that on right away. Put a bunch on here. Let's see, hopefully we can get it to stick in there good. I mean, maybe we won't have a problem. If you're liking what I do, please keep passing this on. I appreciate that. Tomorrow will be a drawing for um, anybody who did that and then also commented in here that they did. Uh, for one of the Dollar Tree calendars, so I'll look through all the names tomorrow. Um, thank you for welcoming newbies, and yes, welcome. I'm sorry I didn't catch. Cute. Now we're going to do a cute little bow yet. All right, I need my bag for some bows, and of course we need a button, right? I got my buttons here. Now I was going to, let me tell you what my thought was. If you have them on like a pedestal, you know, you put something underneath it, you could put just maybe a wood block or something. I did have a long strip cut out. I had, I just ran a stitch of thread right through the middle and I had it all gathered up that I was gonna put that on here, but being right on the table, you know, that there's not enough room but if you have like a pedestal underneath them you can certainly do that and add that all right or you know the bowl i was going to make was going to be something else let me just see let's just see I have a different idea for a bowl, but let, I just folded this fabric. This will actually be sort of cute too. Thank you, Marsha. Thank you, Debbie. So yeah, keep commenting. I will be doing a uh, Dollar Tree calendar drawing at the end of here too from comments. All right, I did a Happy Meal earlier that wasn't a Dollar Tree. All right, let's just see. We'll see, because I'm gonna make a different bowl too. We'll see which we like better. I really, this one is actually sort of cute. That, okay, I think I changed my mind. I think we're doing this. Do you like that? 
Let me show you. So I had a, oh, you know what though I need to do? Okay, if I do that. The other one I had, I had just put together some of these and I had the raffia. I do think I need some raffia on here yet though. And then it was gonna be like that. Which do you like better? And then there will be, of course, a button in the middle. Which do you like better? Thank you, Lauren. Thank you, Ellen. So do you, I think this, I don't know. Which do you like better? Marsha, sometimes I have a weird head. You know, sometimes it's inspiring from other people. I mean, I've seen scarecrows. I've seen these Tide Pods made into a pumpkin, but I wanted to do something different. So, this one, the second one, are you all saying the second one? Okay. Can you add a small one on top of the material? Let me, let me see. Oops. All right, let's do, I want to do, do you need me to show you how I did this one? I actually want to add a little more raffia yet, I think. So let's just do one more. It was easy. I know sometimes, you know, you don't necessarily always know how some people question about doing those. This was such an easy one. I'll show you my materials. Black burlap. Um, honestly, I think that was all. Probably about yay big. So we're going to do um, three of each of these. Yeah, I don't know which one. You want me to show the other one? Okay, let me make this one, and then I'll show you before I actually put it on. I'm torn on this now. They're both really, really cute. Okay, so, and both, both of these are from Hobby Lobby in the fall section, which is now 40% off. So I did get it at 40% off. Okay, so I do three of each of them. This one, I do the same, um, about the same, actually a little bit bigger. I think I want that a little bigger. These colored ones, I'm gonna dovetail. Can you put a couple strips of fabric on the second bow? Oh. I get what you're saying. You know, I could just, I could add a patch on this bowl. I mean, there's gonna be a, a button on it, but I could add a patch. So I'm just dovetailing these edges. I have over 200. That means there's gonna be two Happy Mail at the end yet, besides the one that got earlier. So. The first one will be the, the Dollar Tree calendar. The second one will be a Happy Meal. A lot of times I hand, hand um, send out napkin packs um, for, so one will be probably a napkin pack. I have some really cute ones right now too. And the other one will be a calendar. So I'll do two at the end yet. So keep commenting and we'll, get, we'll do two more. And then again, like I said, if you pass this on to your page and you comment below that you did, I will be doing, uh, I will draw names tomorrow for all those that did. Oh, Marcy, welcome. You're a newbie also. Okay, so the way I do mine, I mean, you can crisscross. I like gathering them up as I go. So this one, I just want to make sure it's not too big. Oh, I also need the raffia. Oh, that one's a little big now. I need a little shorter. I'm actually going to grab some raffia. We're going to make my messy raffia bow. I just scrunch it together. 
bring the pieces in and you got your, your raffia. Now I'll take another piece and tie that together. I'm going to tie it first before I put it on here. Wrap a piece around. Just tie it off. Thank you, Carla. Mr. Button. Of course, I've got a button that's going to go on here. Thank you, Kathy, for welcoming. Everybody on here is just so sweet. We all welcome each other. Appreciate that. Um, again, Kathy um, is my moderator on Crafty Serving's Crafting Club. If you make things, you want to go out and show what you make, you can't advertise your page, though, or do um, the share videos on there, okay? But you can put pictures and, you know, describe what you made if you want. Um, okay, and then we're just going to keep that nice and messy. First, now we're going to scrunch this up, put this behind it. This one is going to drive me crazy. Put that out there. Okay. So we scrunch that up, and then we're going to do we scrunch up this green. And we did three of them, so I could do one on each side, and then one in the middle. And also with this, on each side, one in the middle. Look how easy that is. Um, I'm going to take a longer string here. Wrap it around a couple times just so that you don't have to try and hold it together. these are wired ones we can adjust them so we're seeing them a little, a little too much mess can't have a covered face So this would be the other one, and we could um, do a couple patches on there. Let's just see what that would look like. So are you, okay, I'll show you the two bowls again, and then we'll have you decide Okay, so I'm just doing a couple little patches, seeing the bow is so little, I think I need little. I don't know, I don't know that I like the patches on the bow. I don't think I do. I, I, I don't think I do. Let me find that other patch that I got. <laughs> oh, here it is. I don't think I like the patches on the bows, though. Well, it fell off. Oh, you know what? Now that it's on here, I don't think I mind that one patch. No patches. Strip of fabric. Are you, are you just talking like a little strip of fabric? <laughs> All right, we're almost done here. 
Remember, we're doing random at the pen shine. No patches, yeah, no patches. I don't even know that I know that I like the strip. Know that I know. Yeah, I, yeah. Are you talking about there? I don't think so. I, I don't think so. We're going to leave them out. Okay, so these are our two choices. And of course, there's going to be a button. So the buttons, I, the button, one button, the main button that I think I like is the handmade with love that I had gotten and it matches that so that honestly and yeah if you can see it says handmade with love I don't know if you can see that I think we'll use that one the other one I had was this gold one you know I could put no that's a little big for that so we could do this, let me show you, and that would be on the front there. I would tame this down a little bit, bring them down. So we got that one, or we got this one, which also, let me just add a little bit of raffia behind that one, and we'll see, that might, that might make a trick. So you have to say, um, you have to say either fabric, but let's say fabric or yellow. Okay, I'm not sure what you mean the first. So, yep. So either fabric or material or yellow. Let me just show you what this one will look with some raffia behind it. I have a lot saying yellow. Oh, Robin, thank you. Robin started a page now too. You know, check her page out. All right, so this would be tame down. This would be the other one. No. I like that one. I do like that one. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm just gonna tame it down a little bit, make it fill in. And I'm just going to add the made with love on here. I don't think there's really a right or a wrong on which one we could use. I think either would be just really, really cute. Oh, now you're saying the yellow hides the face. Okay, let me see. I'm gonna try and just pull, pull that in a little though. Give that whole a little haircut. I like it. We're going to do that. It's going to take a second to set up. Thank you. Thank you for all the hearts. Somebody else threw out stars. I appreciate that so much. My finger, it doesn't hurt as bad now, but I have like a little thing of glue right where it burned. I, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm going to go wash that off when I'm done. <laughs> it hurts really bad. So tomorrow I'll probably be wearing a band-aid, I'm guessing. <laughs> oh, Deanne, thank you for the stars. Oh, Lynn, thank you. Y'all are so sweet. I said we're going to do two happy mail yet. Stay here. Keep commenting. I'm going to do scroll for two. All right, let's get this out of our way. Let's get all this mess out of our way. So 
you can see oh, I have extra string here. turned out pretty dang cute. One of our ways. I want to make sure it's on here good. Thank you, Jerry. All right, Sue. Deborah, thank you. All right. Here we go. Isn't he cute? I love him. I hope you do too. If you do, please pass me on. Like I said, I am doing a drawing tomorrow for all those that do and they say that they do here. Um, and um, so I'll be doing that tomorrow for one of the calendars. But oh my gosh, a tied a tied bottle and some fabric, right? It was a tied bottle. So I would add a little more hair back there because he's sort of balding in the back. But no, he's just 